have a spreadsheet or a worksheet within a spreadsheet for every aspect of my financial life. I have it for individual things like what I spend on food, what I make in savings. One of the main reasons that I do this is because if you're trying to save money, what is motivating you to keep going? If you are tracking and recording the differences that that is making to your spending or your income or getting out of debt, it's motivational. If you can see the differences, it's one thing saying, oh, I'm going to start buying more discount food, I'm not going to buy shelf price. And you just go into the shop and you buy it and you get the receipt and you chuck the receipt in the bin. How do you know what a difference that is making if you're not keeping some kind of record of it? So I like to see the differences. I like to see the changes. I like to see how it makes a difference to my financial security. And by keeping spreadsheets and comparing month to month and comparing year to year, I can see what enormous differences I am making to my financial security by doing all these small things. So I say, oh, taking surveys, that's, that's not going to make you much money. Um, oh, just saving that bit of money, that's not going to make you money buying yellow sticker discounts, oh, that's not going to save you much money. When you put all those things together, it makes a huge difference. I've gone from living off savings two years ago to being able to start a private pension and a stocks and shares ISA. And it's all small amounts that come together into a big pot. And I pretty much make my living from side hustles now. I think everything is a side hustle. My business, which is a small fashion design business that I run from home, has taken a bit of a dip the last couple of years because of the cost of living crisis. People aren't spending as frivolously as they used to. And instead of worrying about that, instead of panicking and thinking, I've got to keep going with this business and if it bankrupts me, you know, let's be a master to the cause, I'll have to go and get a nine to five job. I've carried on with the business because it's my creative outlet and I enjoy it and I've added side hustles and I have spreadsheets that show that I can keep enjoying my business for what it is but actually the side hustles are making more money and when you throw everything into the pot I am making more money than I spend every year. I think, I think at the moment as things stand today I'm on about fifteen and a half thousand in income but my outgoings are running at about twelve and a half thousand so if you are earning more than you spend isn't that the point you get to keep a little bit of that money for rainy days maybe you want to save up for that holiday or that new car or a home renovation or whatever else it is that you need that you think you need and if you track that and you can see the differences, that is motivational. That is the thing that makes you realise, look at the difference I've made. So that is the joy of spreadsheets, without any shadow of a doubt. I love a spreadsheet. It's accessible. It's easy to learn. Once you get the basics, you can just run things nice and easily. It's quick and easy to see the differences, to check. You can add, take away, move things around as much as you want. Once you've got the basic understanding of how it works, you can do whatever you like. You don't need expensive software. It's free. And that is, again, great for the budget.